when your doctor prescribes your oral estrogen, you will always have elevations of estrone. Always. Please know this to be true. I know that there are literally millions of you out there on oral estradiol right now. And I don't want to instill fear. I don't want to speak from fear or to fear. I need to speak to you from empowerment. Oral estrogen creates estrone at rates that are super physiological and unsafe. This is why when they tell you um, the oral contraceptives or oral estrogens, when they give them to you at the pharmacy, you sign off on it saying that you know there's a higher risk for blood clotting, etc. That's because that's what high levels of estrone does. Estradiol does not cause clotting issues, by the way, at all. Estrone does. Estrone stimulates thrombin. Estrone stimulates that breast tissue in a pathological way. It's more pro-inflammatory. If there's no other way for you to get estrogen other than oral, you deserve to have your estrone levels labbed. Your period always deserve estrone levels to be tested, by the way. Literally always. You always have. So, so if someone's prescribing oral estrogen and this is all you have, you want to make sure that you're testing estrone and seeing how high it is. You want to have a conversation with your provider about options other than oral estrogen. I know oral estrogen is super convenient, super cheap, and it's easy to give. And it's just symptom management at that point for them because it gets you in and out the door, but it doesn't benefit you long term. It's just another pat on your head and send you on your way. And it's another crime against women. I see it as a crime against women when it's prescribed this way because in order to be able to prescribe estrogen, we have to have a license. In order to have our license, we have to show basic competence. The understanding of basic competence means we understand biochemistry. And what I'm talking about here is basic chemistry, biochemistry. I said nothing fancy, nothing fancy at all. And this is not revolutionary, and I'm not that smart. I didn't invent any of this. 